so we've got really like one kind of final big part of the class, um, and that is our tests, or exams, whatever you want to call them. So we're going to have three kind of unit tests throughout the semester. Basically, it's about one a month. We're starting a little bit into January. We'll have a test a little bit into February, March, April. We get it bumped. It's because of spring break, but it's basically once a month. Um, they'll cover basically parts throughout the class, and then we will have a final exam May 4th. So these dates are, are locked in because it's basically what we're based on um, when we're meeting. Those are on the Wednesdays. Those are on Wednesday during the lab time when we're going to meet. So basically on those weeks, you'll come in at 1 p.m. and instead of taking doing a lab, take a test. Um, the final exam is going to be cumulative. You do need to take it. Um, there are no exam makeups. So February, March, April, if you miss those tests, can't make them up, but your final exam can replace your lowest exam score. So um, that's going to basically be our in replacement or lieu of doing any sort of exam makeups. And um, it also then allows for if you don't do, even if you don't miss a test, but you don't do well on a test, you can replace that grade and help your kind of overall overall class score um, if you learn from your mistakes and, and do better on the final exam. Um, testing is all going to be on campus in person. We will use a classroom close to the lab room. I'll, I'll announce it when you're closer. I know what room we're using, but um, it, we'll, I'll announce it closer, more relevant. Um, and, and the format, I'll go, I'll talk about all that kind of stuff once we get closer to the test. Um, they will all be a free response. Um, they'll just be answering questions. Um, there'll be some time where you're explaining things, things along that nature. Um, there will be a review for each test um, that will have solutions. Um, if you complete that review, it doesn't need to be right. You don't need to be correct. Um, you get five, up to five points added onto your test score, however much of the review you complete and turn in, so many points you can get. Um, and so that's five points just straight up added onto your test score, um, which I think is a pretty nice uh, prize. I think that's the best way to study. Doing the participations, redoing the participations is a really good way to study, and um, doing the review um, because the review you get points towards. So not only is it relevant information, but it helps your score. Um, final exam May fourth. Um, that's the final week of class, 1 p.m. normal lab time. Wednesday on campus will be cumulative, and your final exam score can replace your lowest exam score. Again, did you learn from your mistakes? So got. The unit test, February 9th, March 16th, April 13th, 1 p.m. on campus, May 4th, 1 p.m. on campus. Um, so if you have, again, I'm not, those, I just want the dates, I want you to know the dates. And as we get closer, I'll give out more information, a lot more information, videos and handouts and stuff, uh, overload of information as to how the tests will work and all that kind of fun stuff. But otherwise, um, that's going to do it. Um, for a big part of your grade, but uh, not much information to share now, except those dates, which are locked in. And there'll be nothing else those weeks. There won't be any lecture or lab or anything like that. It's not like we're going to do a test for an hour, and then you'll have an hour of lab. Um, it's just just lab, or just the tests on those weeks. No, nothing else. Um, yeah, uh, a lot more information forthcoming about the test. Just want to make sure you have those dates locked in. Otherwise, see you next week.